Where's the wind? Yeah. Surprising lack of wind and rain. That was a, that seemed like it was an important bit of story. So, so uh, apparently he was dragging drunk driving uh, death kind of thing is going on here. Yeah, I don't really know, but uh, he talked about dragging his corpse. And there was two cars on the road. Yeah. Burnt out. I think there's been some kind of drunk midnight accident, and someone's hid the body. And yeah. Jacobson. Yeah. Jacobson. Jacobson. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was personally offending me. Every time you say Jacobson, you make me sick into my own skull. I have a thing here. It looks like a... Oh, no, it's a person. Is a picture of a man in a kilt or a picture of a small girl in a skirt? I don't know, but it looks like, <laughs> looks like whoever it is has some sort of weaponry. The head looks like a crash helmet. With am antlers I just, coming out of it. Am I just seeing what Zoom I want in. to see? That's the crack of that. I'm zoomed in. Oh. <laughs> you want this? Is that what oh. you want? No. no. Maybe think, maybe sorry. in post I can digitally zoom this so we can see even more. Yeah, we need something to enhance. 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 <laughs> enhance. We have another chemical thing here. I bet, I bet these all mean something really clever. Yeah, yeah. we're not smart enough to exactly. get it. That's what people always say to me when I say something's crap. They just go, well, you're just not smart enough to get the subtext and the political satire. You know, <laughs> you know those people you were mocking earlier, the guy with like 60 degrees? That's the guy that's going to get this game. <laughs> Oh. So really, we're the fools. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks like a proper... I'm going to sleep pretty well tonight, knowing oh, yeah. that I put this game to bed. <laughs> I tucked it in so tight that it couldn't breathe. Yeah. Bits of car, this is supporting the drunk driving theory. Yeah. yeah. Oh, spooky sound. So really, this is all going to turn out to be a dream, isn't it? He's going to be in a coma and he wakes up oh, in the Oh no, it's lost. That's what this is. <laughs> oh no. Is that what happens in the end of Lost? Because yeah, I haven't seen it. They end up in limbo or some shit like that. I don't know. I watched, <laughs> the, I watched the first two episodes time. and decided it was going to be balls. Air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand. Saw a trailer with a giant polar bear smell. on a desert island and he just said, said he'd been nope, traveling done. Back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. Uh, see, I kind of think you want to be you on could that hear the path. sirens above the idling traffic. I love it though, Davey. <laughs> she seemed to go out of your way <laughs> to ignore the voiceover. <laughs> yeah, well, I... I love your style. I, I just it. think he's a dick. <laughs> Do you think the person who's talking is a policeman? No. Really? Well, I don't know, I'm just saying. I thought you said, I think. No, I said, do you think? <laughs> no, I don't think anything. I just want it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> There's Davey, writing on this cliff. It says, if you have dreams, Sean. <laughs> Believe! <laughs> what would Dolph Lundgren do if he's played this game? Punch Turn it, it off. <laughs> <laughs> if he <it> dies, <laughs> he dies. Yeah, that's the first thing you'd have done. Turned around, I think walked would, into the water, and then went home. I think he would have, yeah. He would, after two minutes of playing this game, he would have said the exact phrase, I must break you. <laughs> like, oh, I'll tell you what's disturbing me more than anything else. I can see my armada. Your armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack. A bottom and of I rucksack. Spread them out along the rucksack. All the creatures of the rucksack. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, What's that floating in I the set water? the fleet to sail. It's the boats. Shattered into 21 <laughs> pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Some of these haven't sunk. <laughs> <laughs> Some what, of them have actually washed up. What I was going to say before that voiceover rudely interrupted me. <laughs> yes, carry on. Was uh, is this all still the first chapter? No, no. I think this is this must be getting on a bit. Thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was. That's why I was getting so annoyed. I thought this might actually just be the first chapter. The if garage only, is half open. If only you could crouch and look in. Okay, Davey, I'm going to pitch you a hypothetical here. What? You're on a Hebridean island. Turn right. I've just discovered something. <laughs> I've just discovered that uh, so the combination of the zoom button and the walking is I can do the trombone shot. Watch. Oh. Sorry, there was a door there. That was not a trombone. <laughs> okay, it works better outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was awful. Okay, f*** you guys. <laughs> right, read the writing. I did it earlier. People in the video will see it. On a sudden light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground, candles and eggs. <laughs> candles and eggs? I really eggs? want... Well, why is there eggs there? In a box. Those eggs are warm. Someone just laid them. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say before the trombone shot... Davey, I'm going to pitch you a hypothetical. Okay. You're on a Hebridean island. It's very mysterious. You're wandering oh. around and you see a garage that's half open. Uh-huh. 
you just lift it up, wouldn't you? But wouldn't there, you? Isn't, there isn't a button to lift it up. I know, but I'm just saying. In a real life scenario. So yeah. why can't you do it in this game? Yeah. Is so someone making a mod for this game where you can just like do stuff? Yeah. Hands, a, hands will brilliant. appear on the screen. Because I know everybody's gonna like, everybody's gonna criticize me here because they're just gonna be like, you're missing the point of the game. It's not that kind of game. But it's not any the, game. I just, I don't, I don't hate this. But all I think is, it's just a nothing because you can't, you can't do anything. I'm not asking for a machine gun and loads of zombies to shoot, but I'm just asking for the ability to interact with the world in some way. Yeah. The word you stumbled on there was interaction. You're correct. <laughs> I believe the game needs to have interaction. Whereas what I'm doing is walking between voiceover clips. You're I'm just hiking. Pictures. I tell you, I would have no problem with walking between voiceover clips if I could just open a door or pick up a postcard. <laughs> I'd settle for <laughs> <laughs> I'd settle for skimming a stone right now. That's, that's <laughs> I love, I love that you can really feel the, the frustration in Davy's tone. <laughs> I, have, I have a hand on my head at all times. The yeah. They resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside. What? Obviously. He was lifeless for 21 minutes, certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. Also known as brain damage. <laughs> I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. Unbearably bright. <laughs> Question mark. This is why we need more emergency first aid lessons in schools. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit him in the chest with a rock. That's all they need to tell him. They took chest compressions. He's been unconscious for 21 minutes, so he's obviously having delusions and hallucinations of transcendence. <laughs> <laughs> hit him with a stone. <laughs> What have we got? He's got delusions of transcendence, I think. He's been on just for 21 minutes now. Get the rocks! <laughs> Isn't this what happened to Jakobsen? His, rib, his ribcage was all bra, 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 bra. <laughs> It's all normal stuff. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of light. Oh, Ellen. Now yeah, it's a candle to the left. Left side of the paper. And wake. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. And as he was when proceeding, we become remote, when the cage journey. disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and casts parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Come together. 